Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel ML for Analytics. I am Jyoti and today I am going to cover a very interesting use case uh, related to DAX over here. So the topic of my video is finding the most recent value from related table using DAX and Power BI. So for the purpose of this video, I have chosen two tables from AdventureWorks database. So the first table is this product table, wherein we have various details related to products. So suppose uh, I am an organization which is selling various products and uh, in this particular case I have a lot of products and th these are the IDs of the products. Uh, I mean, if you can see in the screen, and the name of the products are also given, and various product lines. So for most of them, it's blank, but for some of them, it's it's actually visible. So these are the product lines. So uh, the second table is product cost history table. So this particular table contains the historical data of the cost of various products. So uh, this product also con uh, this uh, table also contains product IDs, uh, what the standard costs are, and what is the modified date. So that is, uh, these are the dates on which the cost of uh, a particular product was actually modified. So uh, if I go to model view, you can see that both of these two tables are related by means of product IDs. Uh, product cost history is on the many side of the relationship and product table is on the one side of the relationship. Now, what do I want? I actually want to uh, extract the most recent standard cost associated with a particular product ID. So this is what I want to do in, in this particular video. So I have already done that, done that. I have actually already made a particular column. So uh, what I have done is, uh, this is my column that is most recent standard cost. And I have created a variable that is the maximum date, uh, that is the max date variable. And what is uh, what it does is it actually extracts the maximum date for a particular product ID from my related table that is product cost history. So what I'm doing over here is I'm actually iterating over the related table that is product cost history. I'm actually uh, extracting the maximum of the modified date for a particular product ID. Now, once I have the maximum date uh, for say ID one, what I'm going to do is in this particular variable that is the result variable, I am filtering the related table that is product cost history and what I'm doing is that the modified date of that uh, particular product, it should be equal to the maximum date. So say a product one is there and it is having actually three different dates, right? It was modified on say 1st October 2019 and then 2nd October 2019 and then 3rd October 2019. So what my max date will be, it will be 3rd October 2019. And then I am filtering this particular table that is product cost history. In this particular case, uh, so I'm actually choosing the raw, which is having modified date equal to 3rd October 2019 and from the from that, uh, as you can see, I have chosen select columns uh, DAX function. I am selecting the standard cost associated with this particular max date. And I am naming that particular column as standard cost. Now while you create all uh, these uh, 
uh, I mean calculated columns or measures, it's very important to uh, to actually format them. But I, for this purpose, what I actually do is I actually use uh, DAXformatter.com in order to format my code. So in this case, you can actually go and you know select uh, the code that you have typed and then actually you can paste it and then click on format. So uh, this is how your full code is going to get formatted uh, in the way I, uh, is, it is shown in this particular screen. So it actually looks a lot more presentable. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, I have ex actually extracted most recent standard cost also, I have extracted most recent modified date also for the purpose of this video so that I can show the result, what the result is going to be. So in this particular case, uh, the column that I have extracted is actually modified date. So I mean, I have to rename this to um, modified date. So this is what I have done over here. And if I go back to my main page, so uh, if I go to results over here, I have this particular t uh, table created in front of me. Uh, it is having the previous columns only, product ID, name, product line, but also it is having the most recent standard cost and most recent modified date. Now, say I have a product ID 707. As you can see, the first row for my product table is 707. And the most recent standard cost over here is given is uh, 13.8782. And most recent modified date is given as 29th May 2013. So this is what I have gotten uh, from my calculated columns. So as you can uh, see, uh, in product cost history table, I have three rows associated with product ID, and there are three different standard costs, 12.02, 13.08, and 13.87. And as you can see, three dates are given, 29th May 2020, 2012, 16th May 2013, and uh, 29th May 2013. So for QA purpose, we can see that the most recent standard cost was 13.8782, and the most recent modified date was actually 29th May 2013, So, which is what I am getting as the result over here. If you want to actually uh, take out the earliest uh, standard cost or the earliest modified date, then in that case, in, in this particular, you know, uh, calculated column, you just need to change the function and you just need to actually choose min x. So you, this will actually give you the earliest standard cost or the earliest modified date. So uh, this is how uh, I have actually implemented this particular use case. So guys, with this, I conclude this particular video. Uh, I hope that you like this particular video. If you have any questions, any queries, then yeah, please do comment. Uh, also, please uh, like this video. Please uh, subscribe to our channel to keep getting uh, these type of videos in your uh, list. Uh, and yeah, keep learning. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot.